Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Top Team. Today is a good day, so I'm gonna take you on a trip to see nine temples in Chiang Mai, the best one. And also, we're gonna count how many temples in Chiang Mai. So, do you know that in Chiang Mai, we say like we have more than 250,000 temples? Really? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so this is the first one. It's called Wat Jet Lin Temple. Here is very quiet and very old, very beautiful. You can start walking here from Chiang Mai Gate. It's very closed. And then the next one is Wat Mun Tum. Wat Mun Tum is very beautiful as well, like many mascots in front of the temple. No, it's not a mascot. It's <laughs> it is a statue of the, the lion and the angels who is protecting the temples. So we gotta move real quick today to many temples. By the way, I gotta tell you the truth about how many temples in Chiang Mai. So there actually are 1,218 temples in Chiang Mai. So the reason that I go to visit Nai Temple today is because after New Year's every year, Thai people need to go to Nai Temple and pray for Buddha for good luck because 9 is the lucky number in Thailand and Thai people always do that every year especially in Bangkok anyway do you know that many schools are built in the temple in the past and those monks are actually teachers such as this school is called Meta Suksa School it is the most famous temple school in Chiang Mai I am so sure that many of you guys have already walked this road before. This road is the main road in Chiang Mai. It will reach you to the center of the city. And the next one, we're gonna visit Wat Jedi Rong Temple. This is the most beautiful temple in Chiang Mai, in my opinion and i love the pagoda so much it's very old pagoda and also have a biggest tree in chiang mai as well like every year we have the festival is called interkin we will come here to this temple to like celebrate for the building of chiang mai like this temple is the place to keep the city pillar and this pagoda is built for like more than 700 years already. I must apologize if my information is not the right one. <laughs> Let's just focus on the beauty. Alright everyone, so the next temple is called Wat Pan Tao. This one is my favorite on my list as well. This temple is very picturesque and, and normally on some grand days or every event you will see like flags um, decorated all around the temple, very beautiful. By the way, this video I was recorded on January, so this is the real time. In this month of the beginning of 2022, I think there are like more tourists than last month. But many hotels and many shops are still closed due to the COVID-19. So right now I am walking to the Wat Pasing Temple. So in front of us is the Parsing Temple and on the way you will see another interesting temple it's called Wat Tung Yu. You will see the biggest tree like the Bodhi tree. 
in front of the temple or in Thai we call Ton Po you will notice that every like almost every temple there are body trees because the body tree is the tree that the Buddha have set when he enlightened that is why the body tree is very important in Buddhism so the next temple is called Wat Si Good. this one have the tree as well the body tree is very big here and seems scary a little bit I think I will be very scared at night <laughs> do you guys believe in ghosts? do you have like have you ever seen any ghosts before in Thailand? I also want to share about the ghost belief in Thailand as well, maybe next time. Let me know in the comment if you want to hear that. Here we are at the most important temple in Chiang Mai. This temple is called Wat Prasing Temple. I think you guys already visit here. This temple is one of the grand temple in Chiang Mai. There are many monks and the children monks. I always come to this temple every year on Song Grand Day with my mom because we will like come and take the sand to the temple. We will build a castle of sand and then we will put the flag on the sand. And the reason that we take the sand into the temple is because that we believe in back in the lifetime we always like walk in the temple and then we take the sand out of the temple by our shoes. So on every Song Grand Day we have to take the sand back to the temple. The weather today is very nice. I love it. Mm, it seems like raining. Have you been in this area before? So now we are at the Wat Prasad temple. It is very old temple. I love the wall here. I am just gonna stand from the outside and sneak because I wear <laughs> inappropriately so I, I don't dare to go inside the temple. There are so many rules of wearing for women that you must know before you go to temple. Maybe next time I will share about that. But I guess that you already can see from another YouTube. So this is the last temple that I will visit today. It's called Wat Pa Bong. So we are done for today. I hope that this video could be the guideline for you on your next trip in Chiang Mai. If you want to see the temples around Chiang Mai, I think you can walk just in one day. You can travel around the old city and see everything. If you want to see the most beautiful silver temple in Chiang Mai, I will put the link in the description box. Thank you so much everyone for all support. I love you so much. See you next time. Bye. Bye.